All right, traders, within this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the best breakout strategy that I've created. It's called a gap breakout. I'm gonna walk you through how this strategy works step-by-step, step, sharing with you some of the basics here. I did end up using this strategy today purely based off of the watch list that I created last night for members within Trader Society. They got to trade, they got to watch me trade live at market open today directly off the watch list. I ended up making one trade and it was a phenomenal win. I ended up buying Rivian call options, making a 64% profit return in 24 minutes. Those call options were up almost 200% on the day. I went with the in the money ones, the out of money ones went up as high as 400 to 500%. So I'm gonna walk you through the strategy. Here's the clip in terms of the preparation. So we're gonna go step by step right here. This is the preparation that I had given people yesterday. So let's roll the clip right here and then I'm gonna walk you through the strategy. So this is from the video that I posted yesterday. Here's what I had to say about Rivian stock. Rivian. Rivian, Rivian, Rivian is, setting is setting up for a, for a breakout, breakout play. play. We got, we a, got gap a gap breakout right here on Rivian at $100.60. Once this goes above 160, it's going to shoot up to fill that gap at 108.87, which is where you want to lock in some profits. The key for Rivian is it needs to break above $98. If it can break above $98 this week, it's going to be a buy and hold for a swing trade, ride it back up to fill this gap at 108. So I'm gonna walk you through what I was seeing in terms of Rivian. As you could see, I'd also prepared members within the chat room on the written watch list you could see right here. I had clearly stated last night that Rivian, if $98 can react as a support level, which we did see happen early in the morning, I'm expecting to run to 108. So I'm gonna walk you through the key levels. I'm gonna walk you through as members got to watch me trade this live today. This was the only trade that I played off of that watch list that I posted yesterday. And in terms of that trade, you could see right here at 9.50, 59 a.m. I ended up buying Rivian call options. I stayed in the money with a $98 strike. The price was at $99 at the time I made the trade. I went with the 430 strike and then I closed out half my position at $5.72 just four minutes later. And then 24 minutes later, I sold the rest of my position at 705, making a 64% profit return. And those were the safe in the money call options that expired on December 31st. If I would have went with the out of money call options, those exploded to 400 and 500%. In terms of the call options that I bought today, I did end up selling too soon as this continued to run throughout the day. Those were up 190% on the day. So let's get right into the analysis for Rivian stock, right? So in terms of Rivian, what was I seeing in this particular play? So in terms of this strategy, this is called a gap breakout. You want to use this strategy on strong companies and companies that are known for spiking, that are known for having these big moves, right? So you want to create a list of options that are known for being active, that are known for having big moves like Amazon, like Tesla. You guys know the drill, right? Um, and Rivian is a perfect example. This can have big moves in a very short period of time as history shows. Now, with that being said, you know, at the time, this was extremely oversold. With that being said, it had a gap down. So what you do is you find a strong stock, a great company that isn't going anywhere, and you wait for it to gap down. And then once it has a gap down, and the bigger the gap down, the bigger the profit margin. So like, for example, you know, DocU great company, right? Massive gap down. I recently used the same strategy on this one. I'm consistently using this strategy to make money within the market. There's typically two amazing opportunities to buy call options using this strategy. Um, I made a 90% profit return. Go back, watch the previous videos on DocU. It goes over the strategy. But here I am again, using it on Rivian. Now in terms of Rivian, this is what I was seeing. I was seeing that you had strong support right here at $100 a share. And then I was seeing the stock had gapped down and ended up cracking that support level, turning into resistance level, and it dropped for new all-time lows at $88. Now, this is what you do. When you find a stock that has a massive gap down, you set a price alert above the high of day. So this red line right here represents a gap breakout, which means once this stock pushes above that resistance level and turns it into a support level, it's going to explode up as there's no resistance. As you can see, it's just empty space and it's going to start to fill the gap. And then I'm going to show you how to maximize that win here shortly, right? Because we're not just going to, you know, buy the breakout once it looks strong and just blindly hold this up to fill the gap. Because if it's a massive gap, it's not going to fill it the same day typically, right? So I'm going to show you how you can maximize your wins in this sense and then when you want to start locking in profits. But in terms of entry, once it goes above this key level and reacts as a support level, so once it goes above, it looks strong, you can also wait for a pullback. And then if it turns that key resistance level into a support level, it's gonna explode up and it's gonna start to fill the gap, right? So that's one play I was seeing. I was seeing the gap breakout. Now this is what I was also seeing. I was seeing how 
This was a previous support level right towards the gap breakout level, and it exploded very, very quickly all the way to 123. So that's a nice level with some nice upside potential. And you have this gap to fill right here at $109. So with that being said, I was studying Rivian and I was saying, man, there was a gap to fill here at 97.70, that key $98 level. And it's been consolidating here for a couple days. And it's been forming this bullish pin right here. It looks bullish. It looks like it's getting ready to run. So I was saying, you know, I'm going to look to get in a little bit before the gap breakout, if $98 starts to pop, odds are this is going to have a strong gap breakout. And then once that occurs, it's going to really start to fill the gap up. As history shows, this can have a very nice move towards this key $100 level. So that's what I was looking at. I was looking at the history. I was looking at the gap breakout. I was looking at, okay, the stock is bouncing up. It's forming higher support. If it can manage to turn this key level, this key $98 gap fill level as it was reacting as resistance for three days straight, if it can manage to go above that, odds are this is really going to start to run, break out, and fill the gap. So those were the factors. Those are the variables that I was looking at. Now, just looking at the five-day chart, this is what caught my attention. Once we started going above that key $98 level and clearly turned it into a support level, it was a strong buy from the get-go and my team was prepared for this trade. Um, with that being said, I ended up buying the calls at 9.59 a.m. So let's go to the calls. You know, I ended up playing up, I ended up playing it safe. Let's say you got an out-of-the-money call. Let's say you went with like um, you know, like a hundred and ten strike call. Let's say you went with a hundred and ten strike call. Let's say you went out of the money, you plays a little bit riskier. It doesn't have to be riskier because the contracts are a lot cheaper, so you could take a much, you know, cheaper position size. I alerted these at 9:59 a.m. Look at what these were trading at at 9:59 a.m. Right here, these were at 54 cents to, you know, these were at 54 cents to 75 cents. You could have gotten filled in between this candle. They shot up all the way to two dollars very, very quickly. And that was before my second exit alert, right? So the calls absolutely exploded. You could have went in the money, you could have went out of the money. I played it safer. I went in the money and made a quick 64%. Um, with that being said, in terms of why did I decide to lock in in profits? So reasoning behind locking in profits, the most you can realistically make with this particular strategy was the gap fill at $109 right here in terms of being realistic and playing it safe. Now, my entry was at 959, which was right here into this move up. And in terms of exiting, so here's the deal. Once this pulls back, you want to see previous resistance react to support level. So in terms of bullish confirmations, right here, it pulls back, it forms a pin. This level right here is that gap breakout level. That's extremely bullish. It's forming a bullish pin. It's forming support at the key gap breakout level. That's a bullish pullback. You hold into that, which is exactly what I did. And then here we go again, new high of day breakout. Look what it does. It turns previous resistance right here, 101.50, that key gap breakout on um, that second you know, key resistance level into support right here. That's bullish. You hold into that. Now, in terms of my exits. My main exit, my last exit where I sold half was at 1023. Why did I exit at 1023? Because you can see right here, it was trying to break the trend for the short term being. I exited right here my entire position because it was trying to break the trend. It was forming lower highs and it was starting to fail to turn previous resistance right around here into support. And you can see at one point it did end up cracking and it dropped all the way to $100.66 a share, meaning I would have nearly given back all my profit if I didn't get out. And then the beauty of that is that opened up for another opportunity to buy the gap breakout. You could have rebought the dip. I didn't end up doing that, um, but you could have rebought it and then wrote it back up to fill the gap. I did, however, state several times within the live train webinar, I think this is going to continue to run. I think it's going to be a good swing trade, right? I played it safe and I locked in my profits. And it is a good thing I did that for the time being because I would have nearly given back all my profits on this dip right here. And that was the time to get back in. I just didn't get back in. So it is what it is. Um, but in terms of locking in profits, very, very simple process. Once it pulls back and fails to turn previous resistance into a support level, that's when the micro trend is going to start to change. And I recognize that because this was the new highs at 104.30, nearly filling that gap. I don't want to fully milk it, right? Because it's just had a massive move up. And your previous resistance was right around here. And it went back to the previous resistance, had a small little bounce, but then it started forming lower highs. And I told myself, you know what? It's 10.20 a.m. 
Stocks are going to start to dry up. This is going to be very, very choppy. It's forming new lower highs. I'm not going to take the risk, and I'm glad I didn't take that risk because the calls collapsed during that time being. I would have given back nearly all my profits, so no regrets on that. The second, so I did the right thing by locking in, um, and then the play to get back in was right there. When it hit the gap breakout level and started forming support, that was the time to get back in. I just don't like trading during choppy times of the market. It's extremely hard to make money on options doing that, especially when you're holding them out. But this was a swing trade idea from the get-go, and that second entry, a second opportunity would have worked out very, very nicely. I just didn't take it. But guys, that was the analysis. That's the play on that. So typically with options, I'm trading them from around... 9 35 9 40 a.m up until like 10 30 a.m once the market hits 10 30 a.m that's where things get choppy that's where things get dry you know with options i want to be trading them like this trade the momentum and get out when things go sideways when previous resistance fails to turn into support that's when it's time to step out for the day i don't like trading midday in terms of swing trading i really like making swing trades during power hour but obviously by then it was too late to get in so that's the analysis on rivian i hope you guys enjoyed this and learned a lot for those of you within Trader Society, make sure, as always, you know, you go back and watch those gap breakout lessons. We have a full in-depth webinar. It's over an hour and 20 minutes long. It teaches you the strategy step-by-step, step, everything you need to know. These are just some of the basics. And I'm telling you guys, if you've been following this channel, I'm consistently using this strategy to profit within the market. There's typically two good opportunities every single week with this strategy. And that's just one of the strategies, you know? So this was a gap breakout to fill the gap above. Um, key variables to get in right here gap breakout level once it goes above you know 160 it's going to explode start to fill this gap right to fill the gap play um also key support level right here reacts as a resistance level huge downside potential well once this key support level right here reenacts as the support level and starts breaking out it's going to have that big upside move which is what we saw today preparation and then also another bullish reason to buy there was a gap to fill here at 98 dollars once it filled the gap it was reacting as resistance well, you can see it was forming higher support bullish pins. Once it breaks above that key $98 level right here, it is going to start to explode. We were, we were prepared once again, and we absolutely nailed this trade. So if you do want to be a part of Trader Society, there's a lot to it. You get to watch me trade live at Market Open every single day. You get access to the video lesson library, all of the educational lessons. You get access to all my real-time trade alerts, the chat room. There's a lot to it. All of the information is explained down below. It's the first link in the description. You get lifetime access to everything, and it's a one-time fee. So you're getting the education, you're getting the video lesson library, and you're also getting a service where there's live trading educational webinars every single day at Market Open. And then you also get the real-time trade alerts and my real-time analysis within the chat room and also the one-on-one -on -one direct messaging. That's the only way to contact me. It's the first link in the description. I'm looking forward to continuing to work with you guys, and I will see you at the webinar, live trading webinar tomorrow at Market Open.